Good morning, everyone. Ooh, aha, episode 136. Yes, this is Roger the Shave Lion. It's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for joining me today. And today, I'm going to be shaving with the Tampa Shave Company Blackout Razor with the with the uh, Duraco Prime Platinum Blade. It's probably my fifth shave on it, okay? I'll be doing the top side, of course, with the Moto Head Blade. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And I've decided to feel woody today. So I am shaving with Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood Shaving Cream. Yes, there you go. Lovely, lovely, and more lovely. And then I also have, to pair with it, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement Sandalwood Aftershave and Cologne. So I'll be using that today. I'll also be using my lovely Classic Samurai brush. Classic Samurai, yes. Very nice. All right, and it's all gonna be famously fabulous. All right, you guys. Do you know how to interpret the times? Well, you know, Jesus really kind of put the thumbscrews to the disciples or to the people of the time, talking to them about interpreting what the heck is going on. And if we would pay attention, we can see all around us there are signs that are happening that Jesus indeed is coming soon. All right, well, I'll get into that in just a moment, but first, let's go down for the soaping. Come and join me for the soaping. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. How about that? We're going to get ourselves ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and hydrate this brush, stick it in the water for a little bit, and then I'm going to open up the shave cream, and there it is, yes. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And it is indeed a soft cream. So I use very sparing touch on this. Now I'm going to go ahead and squeeze my brush out. Get as much of the water out of it as possible. And I'm going to swirl on this just a little bit. Not too much. Because this will create... A nice luxurious leather that's probably enough right there see that very light touch you know and the thing about it is if I need more I can always get more so there we go I'm gonna close up my container set it off to the side here and let's go ahead and whip it up shall we I'm gonna get it in here and start whipping I will be adding a little bit of water to it here in just a moment. I wanted to get this started now. Okay, I'm going to dip the tips of my brush in water. And now I have a good amount of water in there. Well, it's not that much, but it is sufficient. And I'm going to whip away. Yes, it is whipping famously. Scraping down the sides a little bit. Very good. Oh, it's looking fabulous. Like usual. <laughs> Look at that lovely lather. Very nice indeed. All right, I'm going to go ahead and set this up like I usually do. Wash these little fingers off. And guess what? I'm going to take out God's Word. That's right, taking up God's Word. And today I'm reading from Luke chapter 12. This is verses 54 to 56. And here Jesus is addressing the crowds. He also said to the crowds, When you see a crowd rising in the west, you say at once, A shower is coming. 
and so it happens. And when you see the south wind blowing, you say, there will be scorching heat. And it happens. You hypocrites! You know how to interpret the appearance of the earth and sky. But why do you not know how to interpret the present time? There you go. There it is. Kind of an admonishing word from Jesus. But let's keep in mind, Jesus is trying to wake them up and direct them along the paths of righteousness. Alright you guys, now it's time to go upstairs for the shave and the devotion. Please join me. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's alive! You scared me! Ha! <laughs> Welcome back! Alright you guys, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get this towel wrung out so we can present the towel. That's right. And I'm going to present the towel and it's going to be wonderful. Alright. There we go. Towel is ready. Present the towel. Very nice. Oh, very good. That is most awesome. All right, I have the, t the towel done. And now I'm going to lather it up. All right. So, yeah. Jesus seems a little bit heavy in his comment toward them, especially when he says, you hypocrites. Well, think about it this way. The Lord needs to tell these people to wake up. He needs to tell the crowds that they should be interpreting what's going on in their world. My friends, it's no different for us. You hypocrites. Can't you see that Jesus is getting ready to come? <laughs> he really is. Look at all the things that are going on. The earthquakes are getting far more frequent and far worse. There's wars and rumors of wars. There's all kinds of things going on. There's asteroids. The heavenly bodies are being shaken. And I love it because it shows to us that God is truly doing and getting ready to come. Put it this way, God coming is a good thing. But the thing about it is we have to have faith in him so that when his coming happens, we can stand before him unashamed of who we are. And if we're in Christ Jesus, we won't be ashamed of who we are in Him. All right, let's get this started. A nice, lovely shave. A nice, lovely shave indeed. It's coming famously. All right, first pass complete. Easy peasy. <laughs> so yeah, we need to interpret the times ourselves in this day and age when there's all kinds of telling signs. Look at all the animal deaths that have been happening. You know? I don't know if you're familiar with Paul Begley, but I watch Paul Begley 
pretty good. Pastor Paul Begley. And, uh, he's a very energetic person when it comes to, you know, his presentation. But his whole thing is the look of prophecy. The look at prophecy. And how how the daily news and the events of the time show us that Jesus is coming. You know? And uh, he kind of calls out for for everything that happens, showing how it points to Jesus is coming. Uh, it's very good because it reminds us, it helps us to interpret the times, the things that we're seeing in this world. We cannot ignore the signs. And if we don't believe in the Lord, we have to know the time is short. It is short. Believe me, it's very short. He could come at any time. And yet, we need to become people belonging to Him. Okay? Very important. Belonging to Jesus, our Lord. Second pass across the green. Yes, indeed. So I want to encourage you to notice these things, to notice what's happening. You know, I mean, the things, the horrible things that are going on in the world are there. You just have to open your eyes to see them. And you can know fully well that the time is coming. It's getting closer. We are closer today to the Lord's coming than when we were when we first believed. It's very true. Oh, yes, indeed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. One more pass. Against the grain. And then it'll be fast forward time. That's right. So, really enough said, you get the point here. Don't be hypocritical in your thinking. Interpret the times. The days are growing short. We're getting closer. Before you know it, Jesus is going to appear to take his church away, his bride, okay? And I want you to be part of that with me. I want you to be a part of it. I don't want you to be left behind. Um, unless, of course, that's the Lord's will and He wants you to, you know, do some things for Him here and to serve as an example to many. Because some people have been chosen for that very reason. Even from the beginning, the foundation of the world. You know? Baby butt smooth. <laughs> okay, you guys. Guess what time it is? It's fast forward time. Well, it's fast forward time. Let it go.
Woohoo! Guess what? That went well. Oh yes. And does that feel good? Alright you guys, it's time for the aftershave. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the sandalwood aftershave by Ar by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Sandalwood, yes. We'll go ahead and put it on. Actually used this yesterday. I just love sandalwood. Woody, woody, woody. That smells so neat. Oh yes, there we go. There we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, I get to smell fabulous all day long. And I'm going to thank and, and uh, encourage you to continue watching me. By all means, take some time to rate share and subscribe and when you share guess what you're going to be sharing the gospel with people and they're going to listen and they're going to understand who jesus is and what his will is for them all right you guys don't be hypocritical open your eyes look what's going on in the world search the scriptures so you can understand that yes indeed we are living in the last days all right you guys i love you all very much thank you for joining me and you have a great day in the lord may he give you nick free and baby butt smooth shaves have a great day everyone toodles <laughs>